Hello! Today's video is kind of a guide to Iron Man fashionscape. If you're an Iron Man and need a quick, cool outfit for a party or something, here are some ideas. This also works if you're a normal account but just don't want to spend a lot of money. Or if you're an ultimate Iron Man. In case you're watching this video 10 minutes before a party and you're in a hurry, I'll leave timestamps to each outfit in the description. I have an older video going over all of the shops and monster drops Iron Man can get cool pieces from if you have time to watch that. Also, I highly recommend using this website, scape.fashion. You can sort things by color or by gear slot and find whatever you're missing for your outfit. First are the free-to-play outfits. You're pretty limited as a free-to-play Iron Man, but most of these you can even get on a level 3. The pre-scound pieces you can easily get from Thessalia's shop in Varrock. The cape you also buy from Thessalia. The black hat you can get from killing dark wizards, or just buy from the magic shop in Port Sarim. The fan you get from Diango, and the necklace is from the makeover mage. This outfit is really simple, just some items from Diango. You could also use a team cape. You can buy one in Edgeville without having to go into the wilderness. The priest gowns are from Thessalia. The hat is from the magic shop in Port Sarim or from killing dark wizards. The cursed goblin weapons are from Diango. The team cape is from Edgeville. And the blue cape you can get from dyeing another cape you have. Or from the shop on the second floor of the Champions Guild. Doing mostly black or white with a pop of color is always a good idea. You can never really go wrong with it. For this outfit, you might want to change your top with Thessalia, but I think it's kind of cute. The pink skirt is from Thessalia, the cape is from Edgeville, the crown and scarf are from Diego, and the boots are from the Stronghold of Security. This used to be my go-to fashionscape in free-to-play. This requires the Lederhosen outfit, which you get from random events. The scarf is from Diango. The boots are from the Stronghold of Security. And the cape is from Edgeville. This is one of the birthday event outfits. I think on its own, it's super cool. But you could add a weapon and shield. This is the birthday event sword. And this is how you get the shield. Cat ears. That's it. That's the outfit. Seriously, add cat ears to anything and you look extra cute. This outfit kind of just looks like you're a stylish noob maging monsters. The hat is from the magic shop in Port Sarim or from Killing Wizards. The robe top is from Killing Wizards. The bottoms are from Thessalia. The cape is from Killing Highwaymen. The amulet is from the makeover mage. And the staff is from Diango. You could spice it up by using the blue and yellow scarf from the Christmas event and using some kind of yellow cape. The team cape is from Edgeville, and the normal yellow cape is from dyeing another cape you have. Or you could use a blue cape, which you can dye or buy from the Champions Guild. If you want to be spooky, here are a couple of headless zombie outfits. This outfit, minus the head, is from the Gravedigger random event. The head is from the Halloween event. Add on any cape or weapon you want. Bonus if you have one of the Clue Reward team capes, because they look torn up. Same head, this outfit is from the Halloween event. And getting into members fashionscape now, this turquoise robe set is from the gnome stronghold. The cloak is from the Fremenic shop. And the staff is from Diego's shop. The clan cape and banner don't work for everyone. It depends on whether or not you're in a clan and what your clan's flag looks like. But for me, it perfectly matches this outfit. You could also base a whole outfit around your clan cape and banner. This is the Lederhosen outfit with beekeeper boots or desert boots and a green Fremnik cloak. It's better if you have white mystic boots because then it looks like you're just wearing knee-high socks. This is the blue set from the Gnome Stronghold with desert boots.
and the Legends cape. I really like this color combo. Maybe this one isn't that appealing to most people, but I like it. It reminds me of coffee. The cape, collar, and boots are from the birthday event, and the rest is from the gnome stronghold. If you don't have the birthday event, you could use a brown Friminic cloak. In case you feel like being a pirate, this pirate outfit is from Mostly Harmless. To buy it, you need a book of piracy, which you can get from your POH. The cape is from Friminic, and the sword is from Smith on Mostly Harmless. To buy it, you need a book of piracy, and the other swords are from him too. This one is kind of inspired by Mudkip. The top and shorts are from Kildegrim. The boots are desert boots, or you can use beekeeper boots. The bunny ears are from the Easter event, and the cape is a legend cape. Shazian armor is pretty underrated fashionscape. It doesn't take that long to get back as long as you have enough Shazian favor. The cape is from Friminic. The fan is from Diango. If you don't like the helmet, you could alternatively use a black wizard hat from the shop in Port Sarim, a black Santa hat from the Christmas event, or the headless head from the Halloween event. Here's another Shazian one, this time with tier 2 armor. The cape is from Edgeville, and the sword is from the birthday event. In this one, the hat is from Diango. The top and bottoms are from the shop in Privthanas. The boots and gloves are Shazian tier 1 armor. The cape is from Friminic, and the lantern is from a slayer shop. You can light it with a tinder box. You could also use yellow boots from Canifis. Rainbow boots from the Stronghold of Security. Mime boots from the Mime Random Event. The Prayer Skill Cape. Or a yellow Friminic Cloak. Shazian armor goes pretty well with any skill cape that has red in it. The woodcutting cape goes well with the green robes and boots from Canifis, the cabbage book and the druidic wreath from Diango, or the lederhosen outfit. The mining cape is nice with the turquoise outfit from the gnome stronghold, the cursed hammer from Diango, the gravedigger boots from the Halloween event, and it's hard to see but I'm also wearing the collar from the birthday event. You could also just wear the birthday event to match the brown in the cape. This could work with the runecrafting cape, the prayer cape, or even any cape with gold in it. I have on the mind shield, the desert top and legs, and a slayer staff. You could also use a book of law, or the desert robe bottoms and boots. You could add more gold with the yellow hat and boots from Canifis, or even use the golden elven clothes from Prif. With the defense cape, you can wear pieces of the blue set from the gnome stronghold. And the desert outfit is from Ali Morrisane. The light blue elven top with the blue bottoms and cream boots also work. If you have a blurite sword or have enough time to get one, it matches the cape pretty well. With the hit points cape, you can go full on nurse. With the unholy book, dragon gloves or red gloves from Canifis, nurse hat from the apothecary, medical gown from West Ardone, desert bottoms and boots, or you could use fire clothes and red Canifis boots, leader hose and shorts or mime legs. The farming cape goes great with the green outfit from the gnome stronghold, druidic wreath, canifus green boots, cabbage book from Diango, and slayer staff. The thieving cape I think is the best with the fire outfit and black gloves, a black party hat or a black wizard hat, or cat ears. The magic cape goes great with that blue and white outfit from before. Or the princess outfit, a blue wizard hat, and yellow canifus boots. The holy book or bug lantern are great with either outfit. 
With the Fire Noble outfit, you can use a fan from Diengo and a red Frimnik cloak. Whatever hat you want, but personally, I really like the cat ears. I'm the goth cat girl of your dreams. With the red Fire Noble dress, you can use fire shoes, a black party hat from the Christmas event, black Frimnik cloak, and I like the Shazian tier 1 gloves, or you could use black Dehyde fan braces. With the masculine fire clothes, you can wear black gloves, a black party hat, and a red Frimnik cloak. Or with this set, you can wear a black from Nick cloak and red hat from Canifis. With the blue elven clothes, you can wear the staff from Diengo, Legend's cape and desert boots, or turquoise hat and boots from Gnome Stronghold. My clan cape works well with this. Fire boots, black from Nick cloak, black wizard hat. This also works with the yellow elven clothes, or you could use the yellow hat and boots from Canifis, or the banana hat from Diengo. That's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helped. Have fun at your party or whatever event you're going to, I hope you're the hottest Iron Man there. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all tomorrow.